Well, welcome to the holidays and the holidays for LGBTQ youth and their families. I'm Dave Greylog. I'm the information officer for A Thousand Moms, building community support for LGBTQ youth in foster and adoptive care. Well, we had our conference call this week, and here's a summary of what we discussed. Rather than uh, forced happiness and, and um, perhaps genuine happiness, the holidays very often bring isolation, depression, dislocation for LGBTQ youth. And we know this to be a fact. So our presentation is called Home for the Holidays for LGBTQ Youth. And it was presented by Fred Elia, who is the co-founder and president of A Thousand Moms. And as always, we wish to honor Marsha Noby, um, our late co-founder, a strong force, an advocate for LGBTQ youth, parents, and staff of agencies doing the work of foster care and adoption work. And I am Dave Baylog, as I said, and I'm the one furthest on the right, uh, next to my father. And I am the Chief Information Officer of A Thousand Moms, and I'm the author of several books. And the one we wish to uh, highlight here is Parents Love Your Gay Children, Ending Fear, Stigma, and Trauma. And we'll give you more information at the end of this presentation, but we, um, we hope you will want to start reading this book for free and share it. And let's go. This scene is typical across America. Football, football, football. During the holidays, um, the sports networks, the television networks know that people will watch football morning, noon, and night. And it's the great American distraction. And unfortunately, LGBTQ youth, um, many of them, this is not, watching a football game is not their preferred choice and of entertainment for sure. And of, there are many people who, who, who do not um, become automatons and, and uh, Although there are great football fans who really enjoy the sport, um, ironically, many people don't. And uh, but the numbers, the majority are. Uh, the networks know this, that, uh, and they make great money off of showing football games. But for LGBTQ youth, the holidays can overwhelm LGBT individuals with a near total sense of questioning and depression. And that is a quote from Reverend Dr. Maurice Blanchard, a transgender pastor from South Carolina. Well, we had five recommendations during our presentation. And first being, listen, really listen to your child. A good tip, not only for, say, a Christmas day or a holiday, but something that is uh, valuable every day of the year. So listening is very important for LGBTQ youth to know that they're being acknowledged and recognized. And in our presentation, we talked about one coming out video, which is very striking, and we recommend it highly to uh, parents. And this youth, Daniel, um, knew that his mother could be a role model because uh, um, he knew her and they had a good relationship. And we want to show this video to show how 
parents can be inclusive and it's um, just an excellent example. So we'll play a little from this video. status? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's not exactly uh, with a girl. Okay. You know, it's funny that I'm not, uh, I'm not surprised. I mean, I'm not, I'm not shocked. I'm not, uh, what, what, it's okay. So tell me, talk to me. I can understand now why you want to talk to me in person. Yeah. I mean, nothing's going on. I'm just, yeah, I don't, I don't know how to say it. And like, you know. You say it. You say it. How you, you say it? How you feel it? Um. Who's it with? A guy. Is it anybody I know? No. 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 Okay. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Um, what? What are you talking about? Yeah. Is it, is it, so it's nobody I know? No. Is this something that you've been thinking about for a long time? Yeah. Is it something you've been Yeah. I mean, it's nothing bad. I'm just like, you know, I don't know how to say it. And like, like, Why would it be anything bad? Why is no, it I'm, bad? No, that's not what I meant. I'm just, I don't know. I'm like really shaky right now. I'm like. You're shaky? Are you nervous talking to me? Yeah. Okay, you know, I want you to be happy. Yeah. That's what I want. I want my baby to be happy. And, and to be... happy with, with, with who you are and with your life and with your, you know, with your feelings. Because you only get one shot around, you know what I mean? Yeah. You get one shot at life. Yeah. You don't get to do it over. You have to do it, you have to do it the way, you know, it makes you happy. 
Um, Do you want me to pick you up? No, uh, I'm okay. I mean... Have you talked to anybody else about it? Yeah, um, I just haven't told you or Dad, and uh, I don't know about Dad, but I'm going to have to eventually. How have you talked to him? Like, friends, and not family. I haven't told anybody. Yeah. Are you getting a lot of support from your friends? Yeah. Anything you want, I guess. Um, it, I don't. I don't know. I. I really didn't know what to expect. Telling you. I'm really proud of you. I'm really proud of you for having the courage to um, talk to me. Yeah. I'm, I'm really proud of you. I'm actually like in the garage, like. Okay. Are you sure you don't want me to come get you? Do you want to have lunch tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. 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 Well, you um, we can we can definitely you can just share with me how you feel. You can share anything with me about uh, what you want to, what you're thinking, what you're feeling, what you're. You know, I know you joke about me, and I always want to talk about feelings, and, but, you know, this is... It's this pretty is, big. Yeah, I know. I know. What? What? It, it's pretty big. It's different. Uh, you know, Daniel, it's the way, it, it's, it's what makes the world go round, honey. We're all different. Yeah. Okay? And that's, and that's what it is. God made none of us the same. You know, we're all different, but the most important thing is, is that we live an honest life, and that we're happy, and, you know, we try to be as good as we can be in life, but most important is that you're honest with yourself, and you, you, that's, that's it, babe, that's it. Thanks yeah. for taking it a lot easier I want... than I thought you would. Pardon? Thank you for taking it a lot easier than I thought you would. Did you really think I would? Did you really? <laughs> well, I didn't know what to expect. I was like, I don't know, kind of freaked out. Like, I don't know. You know what? I need to talk to you a little bit. We need to talk, to... We need to talk a little bit before you guys talk to Dad, okay? I'm serious. Yeah. And you might want to even talk to Mary a little bit before you do that. This is something, you know, Dad is a different, Dad's a different bird, you know. He's got his opinions on things. I don't know. I could be totally wrong. But, um, you know, I want my baby happy. That's what I want. You know, and that's about what it means to me. And, and... You know, somebody's, somebody's sexuality and their, you know, their feelings and their belong to them. You know, they, they belong to you. And that's that. You know, I mean, I don't know what more to say without just over-talking it. Yeah. Except that you are wonderful, you're perfectly normal, you're perfect, and, you know... I, you know, you just, you, you, uh, you know, we'll talk more in person. Okay. Or not, you know, we'll just be together and we'll, and you can, I would love to just hear what yeah. you have to say instead of me doing all the talk. Yeah. And you're in the garage now? Yeah. Okay. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. I'll tell you that all tomorrow. Okay. But, um, no one I know, huh? <laughs> No. Okay. All right. All right. Just, just stay cool. 
Well, that video really struck us as, as inclusive. Uh, hats off to Daniel, who made it, and his mother, who, who really um, sensed his nervousness. Uh, and this, this is a good situation, believe me. Uh, we, we, we know that uh, coming out is one of the most traumatic stressful situations for gay youth and uh even daniel who obviously had connections good connection with his mother um is wiping away tears and fidgeting and biting his nails um this is um the stuff of building relationships and the fact that his mother was able to uh ask questions uh, reassure him, offer her love is extraordinary. And uh, we'll include the link to this video in the description below so you can um, take it in and think it over. So the second point we talked about during our uh, conference meeting this week was to watch a movie together. The holidays are made for watching movies. And fortunately, there's an abundance and a growing trove of LGBTQ movies, and they're widely available now uh, due to uh, expanded cable and streaming services. Uh, you can go to the library and rent a CD, um, and uh, they're, they, they're good for um, getting to people's feelings and stirring um, conversation. And we could recommend a few movies. Moonlight from a few years ago was a, a wonderful supportive story of a young African-American gay youth uh, growing up in uh, tough streets in uh, Miami uh, where he gets tremendous support from uh, uh, unexpected sources, not blood relatives, but the community people. Very, very uh, stirring uh, movie. And there's films such as Trans America, um, which chronicles the transition of a um, uh, trans woman, Felicity Huff, played by Felicity Huffman, and her son and uh, very well re reviewed and available. And there are movies like Love, Simon, which is a, 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 teen, a look at teenage life, teenage handling of, of someone coming out gay and parents, their reaction. Um, very, very much different than what, what we had to watch uh, years ago. Uh, which was poorly made uh, stuff and stereotypical. Um, so there's, there's, there's that resource. And we recommend you uh, sit down and watch a movie. If not together, then alone. And the third aspect we talked about was to breathe. That is to um, take, a, take a, a, a break at points when, when the discussion can seem a little tense and tight. Uh, go for a walk, meditate, uh, listen to music. Um, 
there are a number of things you can do uh, is if you're together with a family for one day, several days, a week. Um, be good to yourself. And reach out for help. Very, very important. Again, there are resources much more than existed um, in the recent past. There are resources such as the Trevor Project, which um, does tremendous work with crisis counseling, um, and they're open 24-7, 365 days a year, and um, we highly recommend their services. And they have uh, their lifeline at 1-866-488-7386, and their website, thetrevorproject.org, which features uh, a, a, a service called Trevor Chat, if it's uh, more convenient, if it's safer to use text and chat rooms uh, rather than uh, uh, voice. Uh, they have a crisis text line, a trans lifeline at 877-565-8860. Uh, safe Horizon Helpline list and they have a national shelter directory, homeless shelter directory dot org, and GLBT near me, GLBT near me dot org. And new in the uh, last couple of years is uh, the Lifeline, which is accessed by dialing 988. And this is a, a federal service. Uh, the National Institutes of Health and Medicine, and can be an incredible resource for anyone in crisis. And we urge you to take um, take a look up at it. And certainly, make the call if you need to. And for parents. There's PFLAG, Parents and Friends of Lesbians and Gays, a well-established, nearly 50-year-old organization um, with incredible amounts of literature, help, ideas, videos, where parents, mothers, fathers share their stories of how they dealt with the news that their children were gay, and it's quite a resource and we again highly recommend it and also in the video lane is a site that's called I'm from Driftwood I'm from driftwood.com and what is it it's it's a archive a bank of thousands of videos of people tell uh, LGBTQ people telling their stories this is the the uh, the queer library. This is our lives, and um, not necessarily about coming out, but these are brief, short, uh, concise videos about issues that served as barriers, hurdles for gay youth, gay adults, queer adults, and so that's I'm from driftwood.com and they're also on YouTube. Just search out I'm from Driftwood. And we also recommend starting keeping a journal. A journal is your own personal safe space. Um, it can be poetry, it can be a diary, but it doesn't even have to be writing. It, 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 people do amazingly creative things with journals, with artwork, drawing, sketches, uh, pictures, screenshots from the movies we mentioned before. Um, it's, a, uh, it's a great tool and a keeper that you can use for your life as an expression of your hopes and your dreams.
So learn more from a thousand moms. Visit our website at a thousand moms.org. You see below a thousand moms.org. And we have books and we are, we are always grateful for people's support. Um, we are a, a full-fledged registered 501c3 uh, nonprofit in the state of New York. And we, uh, we have a book program. And if you are able to and kind enough to send us a donation in the above $20, we will send you in return with our thanks. We'll send you a copy of one of our latest books, Parents Love Your Gay Children, Ending Fear, Stigma, and Trauma. Again, we gratefully accept donations, fully tax deductible. And if you can donate $20 or more, we will send you, for, with our thanks, a copy of Parents Love Your Gay Children. And you can go directly to our book website, healingthebrainbooks.com. That's healingthebrainbooks.com. And you could pick another book if you're making a donation, or you can order on Amazon. And the links are on this page. So thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Thank you for your support. Um, we wish the best to all of our LGBTQ youth, our queer youth who are changing the world, and we offer our support to families, and we wish you all the best for the holidays, and remember to breathe. Also remember, 